Do you like my tie? Oh, who we got here? Right, we've got China, we've got the Road Dog, we've got X Pac, we've got the Big Show, we've got Kane, we've got The Undertaker, we've got The Rock, we've got Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's that lovely. Lovely tie. Alexander, who I met at North Wrestling last night, gave me that tie. And he said, can you wear it in a video? I said, Cedric Alexander. And what a lovely <laughs> chap. Thank you, Cedric. Sorry for putting you in the junk list <laughs> on, the, on the tiered video. Cedric, re Cedric returned to Indies confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Here's some news. We have the reason for last night's WWE releases. The WWE UK Championship has been stolen. And an AEW star has trademarked his nickname to stop WWE from using it. More on that in a bit. So last night was interesting, wasn't it, sir? It certainly was. It certainly was. It, unexpected. We haven't seen a, a Black Sunday. I don't know what to call it in a long, long time. Yeah, that used to be the it used to be all the rage, didn't it? Every year after WrestleMania, they do a big old clear out, mm -hmm. and uh, we had one last night. Four gone. Right. Let's start from the bottom. The Ascension. <laughs> Bang! Bang! See you later. Victor Connor are gone. Out of here. Sin Cara. Bang! Gone. Out of here. And <laughs> Luke Harper. No, it's a good thing. Bang! It's a good thing because he's requested his release. He's been unhappy for an awful long time. We all know that. And he's gone. And he's going to go to pastures new. They all are, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, think it, I think it's great. The Ascension haven't been seen on TV proper in a long, long time. No. Sin Cara, of course, requesting his release a few weeks ago, but had years left on his contract. Uh, but they've granted it, and Luke Harper with just a few months left on his contract, but they've ended it early. Happy Christmas, Luke Harper. Well, we have the reason why this is happening. For, well, there are a couple of reasons uh, being reported. The first is to free up money for other mid-card guys. I say other, like they were on the mid-card. <laughs> to free up money for mid-card guys to give them more money to keep them around. Interesting, okay, sure. It's not like they don't have a lot of money, though. That, that, I find that difficult to believe, that one. I, I, I kind of get it, because if you're, if you're not using... I think somebody's kind of seen sense in the company and gone, look, if these guys aren't happy, uh, we're just going to throw money at them to be unhappy in our company, when mm. we can use that money to keep people we want to keep in the company in the company by offering them more money. Like, it's... it's so it's almost like somebody in the finance department has gone, like... Okay, I've got an idea, lads. <laughs> like, how about we just get rid of the people who don't want to be here? But not all the people who don't want to be here. You know, just people you're not that bothered with, like The Ascension, with the greatest respect, and Sin Cara and Luke Harper. Like, they, they clearly have no intentions to do anything with any of those guys. Uh, those, I mean, still, who have requested releases and haven't got them, guys like Mike Kanellis, mm -hmm. still very much there. Uh, and there's a few others who have uh, very publicly requested releases who aren't going anywhere by the looks of it. For now, at least, anyway. But we'll see what this week brings. I have a funny feeling in the water, in my waters about this week. Yeah? I feel like, I feel like there's, uh, I don't know anything. I don't know. <laughs> No, I don't know nobody, but I just have a feeling if Roman Reigns has been released from WWE oh with effect. <laughs> Rollins going to AEW. Um, what do you reckon's next for these guys then? Okay, so Sin Car, I think AAA is probably yeah. a safe bet. I don't think we'll see him pop up in AEW, for example. I, I always feel bad for Jorge Rios because he really got, so even when we initially talked about him, like he got tarred with a very botchy brush. Yeah, absolutely. Even yeah. Before he'd stepped into the role, he's been he's been exemplary. He's been fine. He's been fine. I, I, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I I like his in ring work. The character they wanted to keep around because it was still selling merch, especially mm. at house shows. And yeah, I, I agree. I, I felt sorry for him. The Ascension, oh, Indies. I don't think they're going to go much higher than that, which is a shame, just because there's no hype around them. Like nobody's mm. going to be especially excited if they announce that. Hey, we've got the Ascension. AEW, for example, already have a few dark tag teams. Uh, the, I, I just don't think they fit there anymore, which is a shame. Maybe we'll see them pop up in Impact. Could they join or the Dark Impact. Order? Possibly, possibly, yeah, it's a good shout. Right, I just right. wouldn't be that excited by it because they've never really, except for the time in NXT, been given a chance to prove themselves in mm. WWE. So what what is there to get excited about? Luke Harper's going AEW. I really do believe that. He's got a lot of good. He's got a lot of friends there. He has. He's got I a lot of pals so. there, and I think they're not necessarily lacking big, big guys, but they could do with a few more. And I think Luke Harper. We all know his his time as Brody Lee on the Indies. He was having absolutely incredible matches. Something that he never. Really really got to do that much of in WWE um, and I can't wait to see what he, he does because he's a guy who still is very very passionate about 
get in the ring. And so this is really exciting for him. And you know what? Fair play. Well done to WWE for doing this. I think it's, the, yeah. it's something that people aren't really talking about. They're under no contractual obligation to be releasing these guys. I think it's the right thing to do personally, but that doesn't mean it's the sensible business thing to do. I understand why they want to keep people on the books. Uh, so to do so, I, I actually think, you know, this close to Christmas as well. Oh, Christmas happy Christmas, Christmas you're yeah. fired. Yeah. What, <laughs> no, what a know, weird I, gift. They, it's true though. They wanted to go for a long time. I don't know about the Ascension. Couldn't care less. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I think this is the right call. It's just been negative PR for a long time with these guys complaining on social media. Yeah. Whether or not they should be doing so, I think that's a different matter. But. This, this is the sensible thing to do, and it's good for WWE. In like 90, 90 days' time, we'll find out what the future holds for the Ascension, for Sin Cara, and for Luke Harper. Indies, AAA, <laughs> AEW. <laughs> See you there. So for the third time this year, we get to talk about a championship belt being stolen. Second, AEW, Chris Jericho. Yeah. You bell <laughs> <laughs> It's mine now, Dave. Uh, and uh, the UK Championship is the one we're talking about today, which is uh, well, previously owned by Volta. Uh, he was at an Evolve show with Timothy Thatcher, and uh, we now no longer have a UK Championship belt. Yeah, Smash and Grab apparently has been taken. It's okay. They sell them on WWEshop.com. I think they're six and a half grand if the fiend belt's anything to go by. No, this is uh, this must be awful. The big concern for me is like you're you're right. Like the belt is replaceable, but in this smash and grab, uh, quite a few uh, items and possessions were taken from Volta and Timothy Thatcher. They took Volta's boots, which meant Volta had to wrestle barefoot at Evolve. Matt really right? does it. It's dirty, yeah. though, isn't it? But the thing that the thing that's irked me is that uh, Volta's passport was stolen oh, as that's, well. That's crappy. This close to Christmas. I, I want Volta home for Christmas. <laughs> Does he live with you? Yes. Oh, I missed something here. <laughs> I wish he did. <laughs> like, so yeah, uh, that sucks. That's the uh, the belt's yeah, replaceable, but that that really. Sucks. Apparently, there's been a spate of uh, of, of car smashes uh, in that area around where the Evolve shows come from. Apparently. So you don't think it was targeted? No, no. It's just it's just on a, on a show night. They just know, hey, this car's full of stuff. Apparently, that's, that's hot seems. property. Though, what do you do with the the bloody WWE UK title? What, where do you pawn that? Because it's not real gold anymore. They're not made of real gold. It's cubic zirconia. It's, <laughs> uh, but, but, but obviously, it's the ring one, so it's worth money to somebody, but the person it's worth money to is is not going to want it because it's stolen from Volta, I guess, you know? On an all-new episode of Porn Stars. <laughs> yeah. Look at this belt I found. Do you know what? Whoever, whoever robbed from that car, the probably the luckiest crim on the planet, right? Imagine being mid-smashing that car up, and out comes Timothy Thatcher and Volta. You'd be dead. <laughs> you would be dead. Like, you have no idea how lucky you are. If I were you, I'd very politely post that belt back and passport, more importantly. Because uh, if Volta gets his hands on you, he's going to chop your chest beat red. Oh, oh. I was in a in a show once. I was at a show where Volta was, <laughs> on. was like, I was doing a smash and grab. I was, just, I was doing this smash and grab that time, and I got this belt. Um, I was at a show where Volta was on, and Volta chopped the chap in the ring. Like, I could give him a big old slap across the chest, chap, uh, chop. And I promise you, I was about five ro rows from the back, made my teeth itch. It, like, They're oh. scary. They are very, very scary. I think there's a photo floating about online. I want to say it's David Starr, but maybe I'm just thinking of their series of matches. It's a photo of Volta chopping a man who's held up in the ropes. And I, I'll find it and I'll stick it there. There it is. There it is. Oh, oh there you go. Look hey, at, now. It's like a lava lamp. It's like <laughs> the chest is just <laughs> like that. Terrifying, terrifying individual. If you're the guy with the UK Championship or the gal with the UK Championship stolen on your desk right now, and you're now seeing what Volta's capable of, that's terrifying. It's coming to get you. And Fanelamo, bad boy Rusev. That just rolls off the tongue, does it not? <laughs> yeah, right. Bad so, boy Rusev. Lana started calling Rusev bad boy Rusev, uh, starting at Starcade, I was believe so, it was. It was so contrived. Yeah. I, I'm normally super love for everything, and I and uh, it was so contrived. Oh, are we calling him bad boy Rusev now? Bad boy Rusev. <laughs> Hello, guys. Come on. <laughs> I didn't quite have, do that. That might a quirky nickname, but that felt very contrived. Yes, and obviously there's already a wrestler using the bad boy nickname, Joey Janela, AEW star. Uh, so he's done the sensible thing before WWE could get there or before they started using it. 
I'll a double jump. <laughs> um, uh, he's gone and registered it. He's gone and registered the bad boy trademark uh, to be used in like an in-ring sense for his, his wrestling name. I, I'm surprised he hadn't done it already, to be honest. As soon as the story came out that he had done, he sent out a tweet saying, you got to do what you got to do. Sorry, Rusev. I think it's I mean, completely fair. He's been yeah. using it for ages, right? It's his. He's the bad boy. Exactly, yeah. And Razor it's... Ramon's the bad guy. Who's another bad? Um, Leroy Brown. Bad boy Leroy Brown. Bad News Brown. Johnny B. Bad. Johnny B. Bad, nice. Um, bad News Barrett. Bad Street. Who's your favourite bad? Let us know in the comments. Bad Street, Atlanta, <laughs> GA. Yeah. Bad Street, and who you stay. Yeah, I, I think this is, I know it's another edition of Trademark News, <laughs> but any indie wrestlers watching, go and trademark your, your stuff. If nobody else is yeah. using it, get in before anyone else does, because you don't want to be doing... You don't want to be doing this. He, he almost got caught out, and that could be you. If you want, <laughs> if you want to be a wrestling postman, by the way, I know there is at least one wrestling postman doing the rounds in the UK circuit. Uh, please trademark the name First Class Mail. That's very that's strong. That's an idea that you've you've had and you've yeah. given it away in front of tens I of thousands mind. of people. I don't mind. The world can have it. That's my gift to the universe for Christmas. Bless him. What a lovely man. You have that. <laughs> Love you, bye. Backstreet <laughs> Atlanta, GA. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section and down below. You can support us on Patreon by going to patreon.com forward slash cultaholic. Lastly, don't forget to hit subscribe and join us.